for the next block Homies with us down, but it's packed so we can't stop Everybody's bumping, yo Lauren I, I thought you were there I, I still think it I like it too So I'm talking to the homie Van Dyke, right? And we're just talking about like old school graffiti crews and like people that we used to see up. You know, we're talking about like all the old schools. And then when we start getting into a crew called 025, numerical abbreviations for it was Cali Kings. And then we're like, damn, remember seeing that shit up? I used to see fucking I-Rock, Getzo, and then we used to see that fool Black from FP, right? I remember I ran into that fool Fiverr, and I remember hitting that fool up because I had seen him catching a billboard right there on Balboa. Fucking Devonshire and, and shit. I was like, I'm so dog. I'm like, what you right, fool? And so like, Fiverr, 025, what's up, bro? What you right? And I was just like, Low key, kind of a fan and shit. I like that. Yeah, this was from 025. Fucking sick ass. But anyway, keeping it gangster, man. It's split, homie. All right, for sure, bro. Nice to meet you, man. I'm out of here. I don't want to hold up too much of his time. You feel me? I know you guys remember that name. Or maybe you know him by his alias, which was his stage name. He was a rapper. Who went by the name of MC Germ? We're like, oh shit, MC Germ, bro. That's the motherfucker who made the spray can song. He is my best friend. He is my spray can. Oh wait, wait. He is my best friend. He is my main man. I dedicate the song to my motherfucking spray can. We go way back to the first grade. All day, every day. He was say, he was say. You know, you, you. I know y'all remember that shit. But yeah, this fool fucking MC Germ, bro. We we're like, damn, whatever happened to that guy? You bumped him, but you didn't really advertise it. You know what I mean? Like he had that one song, Goosebumps. Oh, you getting goosebumps? And then a couple other little songs here and there. It wasn't, you know, nothing crazy. But Spray Cans was like the A18 graffiti anthem for a, for a minute. Especially because it was made by somebody from a well-known crew established as Graffiti Squad. For those who did know MC Germ, this video is for you. One of the questions I see a lot in the comment section the very same question that I've had for many years now. That question is, what happened to MC Germ? AKA Fiverr from 025, AKA Axel Cage. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and give a tutorial on another uh, angle on World Peace Wonder. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get started on that. Okay, you guys, my name is Axel Cage. I need y'all to suck that subscribe button and hit me with a like all right let's get into this so around 2009 in the month of about august if i'm not mistaken mc germ released a track which would become an instant hit in the graffiti community called spray can Man, so this song basically demonstrated someone's love for graffiti and spray painting at an early age and how they used to get made fun of by other taggers for not being a, a good graffiti artist aka a toy a slang word in the graffiti community for someone who's bad at tagging or just bad at doing graffiti which we all start off bad which is explained in the song and how he went from bad to becoming a, gr a good graffiti artist a known graffiti artist they used to talk shit when i was just a little boy i never quit though everybody starts toy but in my opinion what really made this song what it is the luther ingram sample that he used which was a beautiful sample, instantly making this cut a banger. 
MC Germ would continue to release music up until about 2011 with his last song being called Point of View under a new alias though which was Big Germ not too different from MC Germ and this song in particular had mixed reviews from his fans whatever the case this would be his last song for about two years where he went ghost into a hiatus until 2013 when he dropped a random music video with a random song called I'm God. Now in the description of this song, he would go on to say, I'm gonna change the world. United we stand. I'm God. Roar. Everything. I am Big Germ. We can do this. We can do this. Let's go. History in the making. I'm back. Now, although some fans would go on to love this track, some people found the lyrics and his behavior a bit bizarre, but not quite as bizarre as the music he's dropping these days. We'll get into that later, though. Now, this song wasn't the chill, laid back, kicking it with my Heine background music type of song that we were used to. This song was a little more aggressive. Seemed like MC Germ or Big Germ was coming from a darker place, seeking answers and angry that he hasn't got them. Just someone going through his own pain. And you could hear it in the lyrics. And MC Germ was no stranger to being lyrical. I need to fucking answers. Who the fuck out there is suppressing, curing cancer? I'm furious. Now, after this song was dropped, once again, we wouldn't hear from MC Germ for the next 11 years. Leaving fans like myself wondering what the fuck happened to mc Jerb? i started off by trying to find some new music by mc germ or big germ on youtube i typed in big germ 2024 mc germ 2024 but all that popped up was wiz khalifa mac miller which almost led me to believe that this was the same germ that produced for Wiz Khalifa and Mac Miller. I was like, wait, what? Nah. But nah, I, obviously I found out that's, that's not the same guy. So, no. That answers that question in case anybody, which there were some comments in the comment section, wondering if that was the same germ. No, it's not the same germ. I know. It's, it's kind of disappointing. So I couldn't find nothing. So then I go to the last music videos he released and a common comment that I would see in the comment section was that unfortunately he was smoked out, AKA smoking that meth. I was like, smoked out? Nah, MC Jerb? Nah, but then I'm like, it's the Valley. It's fucking possible for sure. So I'm like, damn, now I got to find out why they're saying this. How do they know this? Are these people commenting this personal friends? Like, how do they know this information? That's what I'm trying to figure out. I can't just read some comments and be like, oh, so that's what happened. He smoked out. And then that's the end of it. Hell no. Nah. I wasn't ready to climb out the rabbit hole. So what I do, I went to good old Google. I think I put what happened to MC Germ. 025 Fiber. Search. 
And what popped up was a Reddit post, which was not only kind of disturbing, but sad at the same time. I couldn't believe I was reading MC Germ became severely mentally ill. He stays in Pacoima. He goes by Axel Cage, which I thought it was Axel KG until I actually heard him say it himself. But anyway, Axel Cage on YouTube now. Anyone close to him know what happened? And the title of this Reddit article is 2008, 2009. Artist MC Germ, a.k.a. Big Germ, a.k.a. Fiverr from Tagging Crew 025. Now, a thread by Moggy Warbuck said, Thank you for the new YouTube rabbit hole. Laughing my ass off. This guy is smoked the fuck out. Like probably smokes for three days, no sleep. The psychosis is fucking crazy. Laughing my ass off. And for the record, I don't think addiction is funny at all. It's not something to laugh at. It's not something that's to be taken lightly. I have people close to me suffering from addiction to meth and addiction to other drugs as we speak. I got family doing time because of the things that drugs fueled them to do. So, me making this video, I'm not trying to make fun of nobody. I was literally just trying to find out where and what happened to MC Germ. What, it, what I found isn't what I expected. Everybody, it's me Axel Kaige. I go by Kaige. Go ahead and get into this. I'm gonna show you what's on my computer so you can see this world peace wonder. It's paranormal. To you, to me, it's mathematics. To you, it's weird. To me, it's math. Now, before coming across this, I was a little skeptical on the whole smoked out and, you know, I was still even hoping that the whole mentally ill thing was just uh, a rumor, you know what I mean? But upon doing my own research, I stumbled across this. And coming from somebody who used to be around drug users and all that, I could tell you straight up. This dude right here, for sure, smoker. Graphic design thingy. Here we go, everybody. Okay, this is the operating software that I got off the internet. It's called Streamlabs Desktop. Mine is 1.7.1. .1. So I'm going to go ahead and close it. And it's still recording. How cool is that? But what I came up with is called World Peace Wonder. See, I know you can see it because I tested it on this uh, operating software that I got from the internet, but mine is called World Peace Wonder, right there. 2022, above. It's basically all these URL links, uh, which includes Bing.com, so I'm working in favor of Microsoft. Those guys rock and roll, so to uh, be in a nice standpoint of how I feel about them if you will so okay we're gonna get into this so I don't take up much of your time you can pause the video and get all these URL links and that's World Peace Wonder 2022 uh, that I put together with websites off the internet assuming he is an addict which that's my assumption the question that comes next is why what happened? How did you start using drugs? Especially meth, if that's the one in particular. A lot of the questions about what did this dude go through to push him towards drugs were answered when he finally released a song 
a new song under his new name, Axel Cage, releasing on January 8th, 2022, where he touches on such subjects as having a daughter, having to grow up, having to give up graffiti, which remember was his best friend, even going as far as asking for his old friends and their whereabouts. He talks about a lot of the pain he's going through. But let me remind you, the new music he was releasing did not sound like MC Germ, not one bit. As a matter of fact, some may even find it hard to believe that that's MC Germ. But after listening to a lot of these awful tracks, I did listen to the lyrics. And through the lyrics, I believe that this is MC Germ. And he's telling his story through these songs. Although hard to listen to, he still manages to tell stories through his music. This joint right here is a special joint dedicated to my little girl, Karina. Hip and a hip hop, once upon a time. Things done changed. Now, did I make the right, wrong decision? I don't know. Thinking about spray paint and spray cans All up in my trunk Going, going, gone Where, where did my dogs go? Where did my dogs go? Where did they go off to? Yeah, how it goes, how it goes yeah. Grow up And that's what I did it Got me a kid Now And I had to let go This happened to you also. Stage man, now I done came back. Ooh, where did my dogs go? Where are my dogs at? Where did my dogs go? I'm back. In case you were unable to clarify what he was talking about. He was basically stating that before having a kid, he was having fun, thinking about spray painting and making right or wrong decisions, not having a care in the world. But then he talks about having a kid and having to throw that all away. He goes on to explain that he had to grow up and become a different person. He had to change for the better. When he says that I'm back, in other words, he relapsed. He went back to his old ways. If you listen closely, he is literally, literally screaming out for help when he says, Someone help. Where are my dogs? They basically weren't there when he changed for the better or the worse. He's on drugs, maybe felt pressure to the daddy duties. Because he even says in the song, you know what I'm talking about if you've been through this too. And I'm not even going to sit here in front and say that that song is not relatable as fuck. Because when I had a kid, it's true. I did not want to do graffiti. I did not want to do anything to jeopardize me being separated from my child. So that meant putting down the spray can and putting down a lot of bad habits, including drugs though. Assuming he probably used to do drugs recreationally, he probably stopped at one point when he had a kid, the same way I did, then picked up the habit again, somewhere along the line of daddy duties, wanting inspiration to make music again, and or God. Did I mention that Axel Cage is a reverend who can legally marry you? <laughs> I know what you're thinking. There's no way. But, I mean, just look at this certification from the Northwestern Christian University in Florida. Shit's legit. <laughs> now, all this stuff that I'm about to just run through real quick. 
can be found at axelschapel.godaddysites.com if you want to go look at more of it. I'm going to just kind of run through it because <laughs> when I tell you this food <laughs> has shit on here, like he has everything from the Mexican trial constitution for sale for three fucking million dollars. <laughs> <laughs> to a fucking China versus Japan 2022 showdown at only a 13 million. <laughs> yeah, I'm talking about the. <laughs> oh, fuck, I shouldn't have smoked before doing this video, bro. <laughs> <laughs> bro, bro has the Constitution of the Russian Federation 2021 with the rainbow riding, bro. <laughs> Woo! I'm gonna just take his word for it and assume those are real. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna be able to finish this video, bro. Whew, what's it supposed to be this funny, yo? But the more I'm like looking back at all this screenshotted footage, I'm like, oh my god. It's just ridiculous, bro. I'm talking about. Like, I thought. I don't even know what I'm looking at. Cause y'all explain to me in the comments below what, what we're looking at here. <laughs> I thought it was mixtapes. <laughs> I thought I was looking at mixtapes, bro. Like mixtapes covers, like albums he has out. But then I'm like, <laughs> the more I look at the art. It starts to get a little fucking weird and it gets cringier and cringier. Like, what? Just who is this? You know what I mean? And then when you start reading, like, it goes from like looking like mixtape covers to like him just like putting his fucking files that he has on his computer on um, blast and it's like I'm trying to decode if there even is a subliminal in there like if y'all could decode this for me and further explain what I'm looking at here like what is all this bruh Blazing inside you, but me of Las Vegas. Omar as boy, not adult, is Vegas raised, is visited, vice versa. Like, what? Lauren Gray, the cutie, natively costume, not the meanie one where mean farters move things. KKK, devil dad, child abuse. Spanish continue, you know, like okay, some of these just look like files. Okay, Disney XXS facilities, like nine millimeter. What? And then it's just like look, decoded. It's not to me. Uh, Museum of Republican Party against Barack Obama, and it just gets weirder and weirder one reoccurring file that you keep seeing in these graphic designed bizarre photo cover i mean album cover mixtape i don't even know what they are was the disney xxx facilities but then you start seeing this one juliet daughter of axel strikes paperwork mm, kind of questionable like what i don't even know and it just keeps, it's a reoccurring. It's literally a different graphic design with the same files, the same screenshot over and over and over for hundreds of pages. This website, you kind of get the vibe that this dude kind of wants to be God himself. Which leads you back to that one song that he dropped 11 years ago and disappeared after dropping called 
I am God. And check it out, just in case you're worried about going to hell, he has the gates of heaven formula, bro. You feel me? The gates of heaven formula. That's the formula to get to the gates of heaven. He has the Allison effect, which is fragrance plus presence equals attraction. You feel me? We have the Captain Newton formula, the flashlight formula, bro. The portrait formula. You know what I mean? We have all the formulas you need. But my favorite, the darkness bends formula. You feel me? That's horizontal surface, vertical surface, so on and so forth. But in case you're looking for any certain type of formulas, you can also get the for show effect, which is love makes you do stupid things. Love and state of despair. Anyhow. One thing I did find, though, while scrolling was an about me section. And here we finally get the real story of what happened to MC Germ. Written in a self bio by Axel Cage himself. There was no more assuming. MC Germ's pain and suffering that Axel Cage had gone through would all be laid out for us right here on his website, axelschapel.godaddysite.com in black and white for the world to see. Axel KG was abused as a child and stands for preventing child abuse. By being a modern role model in modern times, behold, baby Axel KG was hit by a car when he was one and a half whom survived. Thus blessed by the Lord surviving. As a young child, neglected by his parents, all he had was music and a dog named Duke. His father was a hardworking Mexican immigrant whom provided food and shelter unlike others whom lived in the poverty and hunger. A very good father who disciplined Axel KG with belts, cables, shoes, and fists, horse whips, tree branches. Thus confession, Axel Cage would have been in prison for... I think I said Axel KG earlier. Sorry about that. Anyway, Axel Cage would have been in prison for life or dead due to the high demand of thugs in society. The gang capital of the world, hence Los Angeles, eventually penalized for possession of a weapon at age 10, an authentic thug would have been the case. His mother was a hairstylist whom very beautiful. Axel Cage would get compliments. Due to the manner of his childhood, he survived a hate crime against his dream by means of religious hatred. He was told he had to sacrifice his child to a dream. Thus behold, right now, the most reverend Axel Cage. Now, that last line got me questioning it a whole lot. Because I was like, wait a minute. Did he just say that he had to sacrifice his child to a dream? Mm. Not sure what that means. But let's continue. His favorite Bible scripture is Titus 1-2. He now prays every day. And holds his dream for the sake of his and his long lost daughter. Huh? See, this is where I'm a little, I'm still a little confused. I haven't figured this one out. Maybe y'all know more about this than I do. Maybe there's something or a lot that I'm missing. But he said he had to sacrifice his child to a dream. And then goes on to say he holds his dream for the sake of his and his long-lost daughter. 
<laughs> I don't know. In my head, automatically, I'm thinking either he never had a daughter to begin with or... I mean, that sounds like I can't even say it on here. Or maybe by him depleting himself from his child's life is him sacrificing his daughter to his dream, which could be he wanted to chase his dream, live out his dream. And by and the only way to do that was to sacrifice being a father. In other words, sacrificing his child to dream. So that's the most likely one that it is. That was just my brain going. And I wanted y'all to <laughs> go through all the motions I went through before realizing I think this dude just... You know what I mean? Gave up being a father to fucking be a smoker. But I, like I said, comment below. Let me know. And if y'all have any information on the hate crime that took place on January 13, 2013 through December 2nd, 2013, then please submit your info at fbi.gov.tips. Now, this video right here playing on the screen is probably the only footage you can find of mc germ in recent days aka axel cage aka fiverr from 025 besides his other two videos which one of them he's promoting his own program that he's working on of his own idea of siri which includes himself as an avatar in which he claims will reenact whatever you tell it to do sort of speak i don't know he's explaining it very weirdly and i was, you know he lost me at some points but just watch this clip real quick so here it goes, here it goes, here it goes. It's really a PDF, but I call it like a little website that has buttons that you can take anywhere you want to go with, uh, anywhere you go with it, too, you know, wherever you go with it. So if you don't have a copy of this, I, I, I put the link on the bottom, uh, on the description of this video. Uh, online right if you if you're not watching this online then you should have a copy already for sure okie dokie i'm gonna go ahead and click on type in choices spin wheel i'm gonna click that button so to speak right oh uh, type in choices spin wheel and it should load up the screen where there's a wheel okie dokie so uh there it is look at that and here we have all the little, uh, you know, words or, you know, color. For this example, it has colors that are on the wheel. Or how about this? Uh, what am I doing right now? That's what I asked it. What am I doing right now? And if you recall correctly, I just spun a wheel. I didn't know what videos were going to be on here. I spun a wheel. With 45 values on it. Per se. In order. So now I ask. What am I doing right now? And this is the video. That it assembled. And let's watch it. Here it goes. It should explain what I'm doing right now.
and that's what w the two videos. Uh, let me minimize this again. Yeah, uh, shit is weird. But hey, who am I to judge? You feel me? And then right here in this video, I think he's right there in Van Nuys. I'm almost sure he's on Van Nuys Boulevard. And he's like at a lowrider car show. If you know the A1A, you know about those shows that be cracking right there. You feel me? But, I mean, the only awkward thing about this video, I mean, he's cruising with a homie. He's drinking and shit. I don't know what he's drinking. But the only thing awkward about this video is like his little ticks. He's like... He tends to keep talking to the camera without actually saying anything. And, like, he'll, like, tick. You know what I mean? Uh, I don't know. Like, you can see it in the video, him ticking and shit, making little weird faces, making, like, weird gestures with his mouth. Like, I don't know, man. But maybe I'm just thinking too hard about it. But to me, it looks like when someone's, when someone's on one, you know what I mean? All right, so I had to interrupt myself because as I was going to upload this video as it is, we're reviewing it, and then we come across his Instagram, another Instagram that he has that's not private, and here we come across even more videos like this one playing right here of him dancing for, I'm talking about half hour straight. He's dancing like this, and there's other ones where he's just... You know, just talking to the camera, which I'll show you guys in a bit. But to me, MC Germ is either on a sick one or on medication, which is causing him to act like this. Or there's something more to this that I just don't know the full story to. For all I know, he's been in a car accident. For all I know, he got brain damage from a from a totally separate incident. For all I know, he's drug free and he just something happened along the way of 11, 13 years ago. And if there is something that I don't know or didn't mention, please feel free to comment below. Reach out to me. I have no problem redoing this video. Like I said, I am not trying to defame MC Germ not one bit. I'm not trying to slander his name. I'm only trying to answer the question, what happened to MC Germ to the best of my knowledge? And I hope this video finds someone who can possibly reach out to our boy MC Germ for some help or to talk to him and just, you know, see if he's all right. Just check on our boy. Come on, y'all. Let's check on our boy. Where my MC Germ fans at, y'all? Comment below and don't, I don't want to see no hate comments, y'all. Come on, let's send our blessings. Let's 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 send prayers if you're religious. Let's send positive energy if you're spiritual. That being said, I'll go ahead and show you a few clips that I found on his Instagram that I did find a little bit strange. But y'all let me know what you think about them in the comments below. Like I said, let's try to stay away from hateful comments. Let's keep them, you know what I mean, intelligent something we could respond to but yeah you, you know what i'm saying anyway here you go there's only a one that, that really works you gotta tell the truth lauren i i thought you were there i, I still think it i like it too i too but 501c3 
26 U.S. Code, CFR 700.31, subsection D1, 700.31, CFR, subsection D1. I, I had to tell you the truth. There's only one way. But that was it. That was it. That was it. There's only one way. That, that was it. Gotta tell it like it is. Doppy! Doppy Whoppy! Dove Cameron! Do the splits! Lauren! Lauren Gray! I saw you! I thought I did! And I like you! I had to touch her! Mm. Lauren! Let's be together! Lauren! Let's be together! Zero one one seven five. Grievance case. It has it all. Patients rights office. Damn. I gotta go. I'll see you around. Dobby. Dobby Wobby. Lauren. I love you. Really, I love you. I gotta go. Hey, it's me again. Boy, it feels great to be who I am today. But yeah, in case y'all were wondering what happened to MC Germ, aka Fiverr from 025, here you go. Make sure y'all share this video with any MC Germ fan that you knew. So you could keep them updated on his life now and on the music he's making. And to anybody who's close to MC Germ, a.k.a. Axel Cage, I did not make this video to exploit or defame the name of the great MC Germ. I only am doing this video for awareness. But, hey, I hope y'all got a little bit of information out of this video. If you did, make sure y'all suck that subscribe button and hit me with a like. And if there's any information that you would like to add or if there's any misinformation that I gave out, please, please, please feel free to reach out. Comment below. I have no problem making an updated and a more accurate video on what happened to MC Germ, aka Fiverr 025, aka Axel Cage? So, like I said, feel free to comment below. Let me know. Until then, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. This is Rude Valley. I'm out. Hey, it's me again. Look at that. Okay, everybody. That is definitely uh, doing a tutorial, you know, for you guys. Trust in the Lord Almighty, Jesus Christ, and any other God.